When installing IP cameras, it is often required that live video of the cameras be embedded into a website. It sounds simple, but in fact we had to overcome several technical difficulties on the way. For example, insufficient bandwidth to broadcast video for multiple viewers at the same time, or the lack of a platform-independent video player component. IP Cam Live is a great, easy-to-configure solution which will help to overcome these difficulties. IP Cam Live is a cloud-based streaming solution for IP cameras to embed the live video streaming to any web page. All you need to do is to configure your router to give online access to your camera. IP Cam Live will connect your camera directly using the RTSP protocol. This means that you need no additional software running on the camera side. IP Cam Live is capable of serving a large number of viewers simultaneously. The greatest thing about IP Cam Live is that after having added your camera to the system, you get the HTML snippet for embedding the video. Just copy this snippet into your website and IP Cam Live will do the rest. Let's see how easily it works in practice. There is an IP camera installed here and the IP address of the camera is 192.168.1122. To be able to add this camera to IP Cam Live, it has to be accessible from the internet. Let's open the router web page and add new port forwarding in order that the incoming connections be forwarded into the camera. Here is the interface of my router. Every single router is different, but the concept is the same. Find port forwarding page of the router and add two new port forwardings to the router. The first one is port 80 for enabling access to the web page of the camera. IP cameras use RTSP real-time video streaming protocol for streaming the video. This protocol uses port 554, therefore port forward has to be set up on this port as well. Now the router has been configured, let's add the camera to IP Cam Live. First thing you need to do is to find out your public IP address. There are some great websites where you can find this information. I prefer whatismyip.com. Here is my public address. And because my computer is connected to the same router as my camera, my camera is also accessible at this address. Please note that you need a fixed IP address. If your IP address is dynamic, you need DYNDNS or a similar service to assign a fixed address to your dynamic IP address. To be able to add a camera to IP Cam Live, you need an account. First, you can register for free. There is a five day long trial period during which you can check out this service free of charge. On the cameras page you find the cameras already added. Add a new camera by clicking the new camera button. As IP cameras have multiple encoders, they can provide various streams with different resolution, compression and frame rate. When connecting to a camera, the stream you want to receive has to be addressed by using the proper URL. Unfortunately, every camera manufacturer uses a different URL to select the video stream. Finding the proper URL is not always easy. To overcome this problem, there is a communication standard for IP cameras called ONVIF. Newer IP cameras support this protocol. By using ONVIF, you can discover the stream supported by the camera. If you do not know the proper URL, just open Camera Discovery Tool. The only thing that is necessary for this tool is to make port 80 of the camera accessible from the internet. Enter the public IP address of your camera, enter also the proper username and password, then click the Discover button. After a while, URLs are listed here with some additional information that can help you to select the stream you need. Now I'm going to use the full HD resolution from this list. And here is the URL for this stream. Now you know the URL you need, go back to Cameras page and click the New Camera button again. Enter the URL you found earlier. 
Please note that the IP address in the list is the local address of the camera. So you have to change this to the public address of your camera. And don't forget to add the proper username and password if your camera requires authentication. OK, the URL is complete. Click Test button. It takes some time for the service to connect to the camera, but after a while, live video appears with some additional information. On the left, you can see detailed information about the stream, like resolution, frame rate, and bandwidth coming from the camera. Click the Add button, and now your camera has been registered. IP CamLight provides different packages, basic, standard, and professional. Basic package is free, but this does not allow you to embed live video into a web page. You can only view it on IP Cam Live web page. If you need audio or time-lapse support, professional package is necessary. Upgrade your camera to standard. On the cameras page, a new camera appears in the list, and the status can be seen here as well. Here you view the live video of the camera. On the settings page, you can modify the settings of your camera and you can turn on some extra features too. On the code snippet page, you can find the ways you can share your camera. Every single camera has an alias and the video is accessible by using this alias. You can share this URL and everyone who has this link will be able to watch your camera. To embed the live video is easy as well. You can find the necessary HTML snippet here, so all you need to do is to copy this into your web page. That's all. I hope you will enjoy your new video stream embedded on your website.